What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. So I've noticed I've been using Cryptex V5 Miner on some of my Windows machines. I actually converted some of my Linux machines off of Hive uh, over to Windows so that way I wouldn't have to pay the Hive daily fee, which it saves me about two cents per machine. Not a lot, but hey, when you're splitting pennies, everything matters. But I've noticed some of my machines are underperforming on the graphics card when I don't have a monitor plugged in. It's really weird. Some of them do, some of them don't. Let me show you and also show you my quick fix. All right, so uh, this is the offender in question and it looks like it might apply to just 10 series cards because I have a 1660, which is not 10 series. It's actually the next generation. But um, if you'll look, this GTX 1070 is running at 30 watts. Now, uh, it's only getting 0.77 hashes on Kakaroo 29, yeah. But now if we go over and we remote into it, watch. We're gonna remote in and 0.77, watch, it'll just start climbing, 0.78. It's almost like it's going into a sleep state or a low power state. And I'm not exactly sure wh sure why. Look, it's already at two, uh, two giga hash right there. And watch on this screen, 119 watts. It's spooling up. It's at 1.09, and then the profitability is going up, obviously, because the hash rate's going up. Um, temperature was super super cold. Now the temperature is going to come up uh, because it was running such low power. Now. It's doing that on all the algorithms. It was doing it on Ravencoin because since it's on Windows using the V5 Cryptex miner, um, it is auto switching. By the way, uh, there's been a couple updates on the V5 um, Cryptex miner. I'll do a dedicated video for that just to show you guys what has changed and what hasn't changed. Um, I am letting the Cryptex miner do all the auto overclocking. Um, I'm not super concerned about getting uh, the max efficiency because I do have these machines inside my house uh, creating heat and it's been super cold and super rainy. So I actually need to bring more machines inside because currently right now my HVAC is running. So I have electric heat coming out of those vents and that is wasted power. I could otherwise be using that power to run more machines to make more money to heat my house house but that's neither here nor there so anyway now watch so we're at 140 160 watts we're you know coming up in temperature we're getting full hash rate this machine's showing five dollars over five dollars a month now if we go back to the um the remote and we log out of that machine watch it'll just fall off 32 watts and then watch the hash rate just goes down with it once it updates, see, and then, and then the, the profitability goes down along with, um, the power usage and everything else. Kind of like it's in a sleep mode. So I don't exactly know why this is happening. Obviously it, maybe it doesn't see that there's a monitor. So like the, the card goes, I don't know, limp mode maybe, but a quick, cheap, simple fix. Uh, and I'm gonna try it right now, is one of these. So this is a HDMI dongle, and um, it just simulates a display, so that way the graphics card thinks that there's something plugged into it. You can get these in HDMI, DisplayPort. Um, I think that's pretty much it, but yeah. So they are relatively cheap. I will put a link down below. I don't think I have an affiliate or a discount or anything like that on these. Um, but if you need them and you're running into this, not all cards are doing it like this 1660 super not doing it. I'm going to test out more cards cause I'm going to be putting more stuff online. Um, but if yours is doing that, this might help you. So let's go over here to the machine, plug it in and then watch like, so it'll, that it'll come up and then the hash rate will come up with it. The hash rate's still coming down right now. Yes. So here is the machine in question and there is the 1070. So we're going to plug this in the lights on so it is recognized just got it running right there creating a little bit of heat for us all right guys so that 1070 ti with the hdmi dummy plug that's what they're actually called plugged in it's getting um 
almost full power. Oh no, it's switched to a different algorithm. So it's running at a different power. Okay, so it just fired up Zealous Hash right now and we're getting, let's see what our profitability is. Um, uh, we're spooling up. So over $5 a day again, and ooh, this one's actually burning quite a bit of power, 170, uh, bouncing back and forth between 90 to 130. Yeah, wattage is all over the place. But as you can see, we're getting full power on this card again. Whereas um, if I go unplug that, or if I'm not remoted into that machine, it'll ramp down to like 30 watts. So if anybody else comes up with like a software fix for this, please drop it down below. I'd love to give you credit for it um, because, you know, obviously buying dummy plugs is an extra cost. I have them left over from running uh, tons of like AI rigs and stuff in the past. So not necessarily an issue for me, but if we could find a solution for people so they don't have to buy things, that would be great as well. Anyway, guys, I wanted to peace out. Wish y'all a good one and I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.